We've just come through a very difficult time. Canada's experienced one of the most significant economic contractions since the Great Depression, and many people's lives were impacted due to a loss of income, a loss of jobs, or the inability to go to work. The Liberal government acted quickly and decisively to ensure that Canadians were supported through the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit, Canadian uh, worker subsidies, uh, those people who were sick were able to benefit, people who were taking care of people who were sick were able to benefit, and those were valuable investments to help ensure that the economy would remain strong. In relation to jobs specifically, we committed to a program designed to ensure the uh, 1 million jobs to be created in Canada, and we're most of the way there. We've achieved a 92% return of the jobs that were lost during the pandemic, and that means more jobs for students. For students specifically, we've helped to uh, implement a $15 minimum wage in federal sectors. And we're also ensuring that the companies that often employ students, tourism and others, have the benefit of accessing either loans or support services so that they can continue using their business and making money and employing people. And right now, I think those jobs are starting to come back and people are really gonna see the benefits of those programs. I have a two-step solution here. Um, first off, I've gone to our communities, I've gone to our business leaders, and I've talked to them. There is a huge labor shortage, a huge labor shortage. Sun Peaks alone is looking for five to six hundred people. The people in Australia and New Zealand that normally take those jobs are not coming. So, as soon as you can, get up to Sun Peaks. If you look at the restaurants, if you look at all of the industry right now, there's jobs everywhere. It's just a matter of you go now. Get there first and you'll get a job. Okay, the next part of the solution is, and this is going to sound really off the wall, but you've got to go to my website to check it out. It's www.bobobrien.ca. And I am proposing for economic stimulus to this country to give free education to students. Free education. This is possible and I'll explain it later on. Thank you. I still remember looking for my first job and how hard it was and now students are up against even more challenges with the job market and coming out of COVID. Uh, one of the things I want to emphasize is our Canada Job Surge Plan, which will, for the first six months of employment, subsidize a new employee's wage between 25 and 50%. Second thing to state on this point is our rebuild Main Street tax credit. Conservatives want to see Main Street rebuilt. And that means we're gonna provide loans for up to $200,000 for small businesses with up to 25% of those loans forgiven. Third, we have the Working Canadian Training Loan. This will enable people to have a low interest loan for them to retrain in areas that they want to get into up to $10,000. So if people are unhappy in a certain um, trade or unhappy in a certain occupation, they actually have the ability at a low cost to retrain so that they're in a job that makes them most happy and perhaps in a job that provides the best impact for the economy. We know this has been an especially challenging time for students through the pandemic. Uh, in addition to the compromises and, and the, the, the really the shortchanging around student experience, we know students had a very difficult time with employment uh, the past two summers. And we also know that the fact is that many students are increasingly adding to their student debt. The fundamental reality in Canada is, is that we have a demographic challenge. And we know that this generation, the generation under 35 or 30, may be the first generation in Canadian history to not be as well off as their parents. So I'm proud of the NDP wins that we did get. We got the CERB when Justin Trudeau was not motivated to do it. We got the wage subsidy and the rent subsidy to keep businesses afloat. And we also got the six month student aid that was 1250 per month to help students. But we know that we need to continue that support right through to the end of the pandemic. And if it's to be a recovery, it must be a recovery for everyone and no one left behind. So for example, we know there are tremendous opportunities in small business. We have supports for small businesses to help students Students get their foot in the door. We know there are tremendous opportunities in the gig economy. Even today we learned that one of the top policymakers and lobbyists for Uber helped draft the conservative platform which would basically exempt 
uh, gig workers from the Employment Standards Act and leave them in substandard benefits. So we know whose side Aaron Atul and the Conservatives are on. There are tremendous opportunities in housing construction. We need to actively increase supply and make housing affordable, including social housing. We have a plan for 1.7 million homes, preserving, building, refurbishing, and building 500,000 affordable units. And in the new green economy, there are tremendous opportunities. Again, it's about leadership and will. So if people graduating from TRUE in 2021 and beyond have the skills, you have the skills to lead this country to a transition to a greer, greener, fairer economy. What does that look like? Well, massive investment in wind, solar, geothermal, wave technologies, emerging, the emerging hydrogen economy, uh, national electrical grid from coast to coast, retrofitting buildings from coast to coast. We have to, we have to do these things and we have to compete because other countries are already doing it. Places like Finland, Israel, even China are, are making those investments. It's not the future, this is happening now. It's not theoretical. We are soon going to be left behind. This will be a future saving project, but also a massive job creator. To reward people who are training right now for the jobs of the future, which are already, already here. Uh, the Green Party is also promoting uh, a, uh, uh, a specific fund, a billion dollars a year for municipalities and First Nations to uh, hire young people for environmental projects. How much better would this area have been this summer had the federal government invested in projects so our local governments could have sent people out into the forest to help uh, with mitigation efforts, uh, fire mitigation efforts. The economy that's going to emerge out of COVID can either be uh, some version of the status quo where the challenges that we're facing only get worse, or it could be, or we could move towards in an urgent way towards a new, fairer, greener economy. Again, the choice is yours. And the way you get to exercise that choice, and the only way you get to exercise that, that choice is by voting. If you want something better, vote for something better.